Hello and welcome to today's WBD demo of the day. And today we're going to be talking about a new feature in Nerdio Manager version 2.3 that can automatically repair any broken session hosts uh, that may get impaired during uh, regular operation. So sometimes a session host can go into an unavailable status um, or uh, there could be problems with the main trust or issues with FS Logics configuration and a whole number of other situations where the WVD agent is going to be reporting a non-available state for the session host. So in the past, that's something you would have had to manually go in, detect and repair. But as of the version of Nerdio Manager for WVD 2.3, that is something that you can allow the auto scale engine to do for you. Let's take a look at how that works. So let's open up our demo workspace and take a look at a remote app host pool called Field Apps. We're gonna go to manage auto scale. And what you will notice is that all the way on the bottom of the auto scale configuration page, there is now a new section called auto heal broken hosts that is going to be turned off by default. So uh, if you've upgraded from a previous version of the Nerdio Manager or you're installing a new version and configuring auto scaling, it's gonna be set to off by default, but we are going to go ahead and turn it on. And then we have a number of configuration options here. So first of all, the description here says that auto scale can automatically attempt to repair broken session hosts by restarting them one or more times, and then eventually deleting and recreating them. Uh, it can make a few attempts to restart the host to try to get it back into operational state and then either leave it alone or delete and recreate this host. So let's see what we can configure. So first thing we have to tell the system is what's considered a broken session host. And as you're probably aware, the WVD agent, which is installed on each and every session host, has a number of different statuses that it reports back to the WVD management service, which is then uh, displayed and queried by the Nerdio manager. And there's a whole set of different statuses. So there is you know, disconnected status, upgrading, upgrade failed, no heartbeat, et cetera. You can see them all listed here. Uh, and there is a normal state, which is what you would want all of your session hosts to be, which is available. So what you can do here is select any of the host statuses from the WVD agent that would be considered, that would make the host broken in your particular environment. So for example, if the host says that it's unavailable and FS Logics is not healthy, I'm sorry, it's unavailable or FS Logics is not healthy, or if it's receiving no heartbeat, um, or if the side-by-side -side stack listener is not ready, as an example. So these are gonna be the four possible statuses that define a host as broken. And we want to make sure that this host either has no sessions at all, or it has no active sessions. Now, in most cases, there will not be any sessions because the host is broken in some way but it's possible that there are some still session, there are still some sessions on that host and it went into a broken state after users have connected. So you may not want to try to restart or delete a broken host that has sessions on it. And you can choose whether you want to make sure it has no sessions at all or just no active sessions. Then you tell the system what remediation attempts you wanted to perform. So one option is to have it restart the host, let's say twice, with a 10 minute interval in between the restarts. So this is going to try to get things back into a functional state just by rebooting it. And then if that fails, you have two options. You can either leave the unrecoverable host as is, meaning you will have to go in and manually figure out what's wrong with it and repair it or you can have it deleted and recreated by the auto scale. So the auto heal functionality in this case is going to try to restart the host twice. If it has any of these statuses, it will wait 10 minutes, restart it again, wait another 10 minutes. And if it's still not in an available state, it is going to delete that host. Again, it's gonna do it in a very orderly fashion by removing it from Active Directory, unregistering it from WVD, 
and uh, deleting all of the associated components. And then based on the auto scale configuration under host pool sizing, the auto scale will realize that there is a host missing from the environment. And on the next iteration, which should happen within five minutes or so, it's going to recreate that host and rebuild it from the image specified up here in the template section. So this is the auto heal functionality that allows you to automate the process of repairing hosts that go into a status other than available. And it allows you to automate the management process of your WVD environment even further. Hope you found this useful and I look forward to seeing you in future videos. Thank you.